core values are more than just what we do. I want you to think of it as also what motivates us to live out all the things that we accomplish and we strive for each day. They help us understand where our personal resources go, our time and our energy. They remind us that we are Kingsland. Now let's take a look at the core value of selfless influence. We value the joy of going beyond, of cultivating a spirit of generosity that benefits the kingdom of God rather than our own agendas. The Apostle Paul tells us in Philippians 2 what it looks like to live a life of selfless influence. Writing to the Philippians, the Apostle Paul said, Do nothing from selfishness or empty conceit, but with humility of mind let each of you regard one another as more important than himself. Do not merely look out for your own personal interests, but also for the interest of others. The Apostle Paul then continued by illustrating how Jesus himself modeled selfless influence. The Apostle Paul said, have this attitude in yourselves, which was also in Christ Jesus, who although he existed in the form of God, did not regard equality with God, something to be grasped, but emptied himself, taking the form of a bondservant and being made in the likeness of man and being found in appearances of man, he humbled himself by becoming obedient to the point of death, even death on a cross. When you and I were at our point of greatest need, Jesus selflessly moved in our direction and did for us what we cannot do and what we could not do for ourselves. And so we want to do what Jesus did best. We want to live lives of selfless influence. We want to move in the direction of people in need, and we want to do for them what they cannot do for themselves. We want to serve them without expecting anything in return. We want to move in their direction and meet needs that would otherwise go unmet. And as a result of doing that, draw them closer to the kingdom of God. And so at Kingsland, we are committed to selfless influence. We are committed to encouraging every member of Kingsland, every child, every youth, every adult at Kingsland to do what Jesus did best, to move in the direction of people in need and to make a difference and to do so selflessly and without expecting anything in return other than the glorification of God and the expansion of his kingdom. Thank you, Pastor Omar, for explaining what selfless influence is. Uh, I'm joined now by a panel that we've been doing the last couple of weeks uh, where we don't want to just talk about selfless influence and, and maybe a core value that's on the website or or something that we just kind of speak about in, in light. But we want to talk about how selfless influence is seen and felt here at Kingsland. And so I'm joined by an incredible panel, uh, some of our staff. We got J.P. Pruitt, our operations pastor, uh, Myri Maya, our missions ministry assistant, and Dr. Cesar Perez, our international people groups pastor. Friends, welcome. I'm glad you are here. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, we're going to jump into talking about selfless influence uh, here at Kingsland. Myri, uh, I'll start with you. You know, uh Everything goes through your office with our missions ministry, with Pastor Omar and all the things that we have. We could probably <laughs> sit here for like a day and talk about all the things that our missions ministry does around the world, but also here in Katy. So I want to ask like, top, not top five, just five things that uh, Kingsland does that many people probably don't know about. Uh, so Myri, what's, what's number one? All right. Well, number one would be um, benevolence. Um, benevolence, we get day in and day out different peoples with different needs and different circumstances that we have the opportunity to bless and sometimes pray with, sometimes um, be an ear or sometimes um, be financial help. And this happens case by case. Um, and we, our desire is to show the love of Christ uh, to these people, not only out our community, but also within the church. We want to show the love of Christ and be there uh, with their need. Um, yeah, immediate needs. The benevolence ministry, you know, we it, a lot of people don't know 
that we have. I get emails or calls be like, Hey, do, do we do anything to help folks like, you know, in the short term? And it's a amazing when I say, absolutely. We do here contact my ream and they're like, I can't believe we do mm -hmm. this. And so you said it happens like once a week. Oh, no, no. It happens on a daily basis. I would daily. say. Yeah. Yes. So mm -hmm. daily folks are coming for benevolence. Yes. And the beauty is that, that, we get to say yes on a lot of a lot of cases yes. um, and get to help folks. So that's number one. What's number two? Number two would be um, urgent needs um, from our local partners. We have partners throughout Katy, mm -hmm. and one of them would be the Pregnancy Help Center. They recently called us and asked us that they were running low on cribs and mattresses and within other resources for babies and that we saved lives from. Um, that we mm. saved their lives pretty much. Mm. And um, we have the honor to provide those cribs. Um, we recently also received a call from the food pantry near here in Katy. And we were also were able to provide resources for them to continue their ministry and provide food for many families here. Um, and we do this without wanting our name. Don't put by Kingsland, from <laughs> Kingsland, yeah. um, on any food that we provide mm. because we really don't care for yeah. that. Yeah. And, you know, the, the immediate needs that we get from partners that, that, that we get to, to partner with, we, we don't put Kingsland on those cribs, right? Like <laughs> this is, no. this is brought to you by Kingsland. No. Sure. no, we, we just see the need and we help them and we get the crib to them so that they can help. And yes. I, I love that. Okay. So that's two. What's What's the third one? Um, the third one would be, and I have the honor to, to walk sometimes with women and um, with losing their husband, you mm. know, widows, we help widows and we help single moms and widowers too. And we help with their, to provide whatever the immediate need is. And we do it also selflessly. It doesn't matter the time um, because ministry doesn't have a time yeah. ministry, even though I leave from the office, it continues throughout the day and night sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, but um, we do have the ability that, to bless widows widowers and single moms. Yeah. And so making sure those on the margin are, are, are seen and known and, and taken care of is a big deal. And not a lot of people know all the ins and outs that we do for that. So that's three. What's number four? Um, number four, as I shared with you was, um, crisis when crisis hits, uh, for example, when Turkey was hit by an earthquake, we immediately contacted the, uh, our partners there and our partners here and see how we can be the hands and feet of Jesus. Um, and we provide funds, we provide resources, we provide whatever it is to, to be the help that the people in crisis need. Mm -hmm. So globally or locally, when we see a crisis on the news or, or whatever, we're not going, oh man, those poor people, we're going, how can we help? Yes. And that's our first initial reaction. I love that. That that's where I, sometimes I'll, I'll contact or we'll send a staff text about stuff that's going on. I'm like, Hey, have y'all seen this? Like we're already on it. Mm -hmm. And uh, our people are texting us. We're like, man, yeah, we're already on it. It's a, it's amazing to see how fast we can mobilize. And lastly, one, probably one of my favorites, number five that you, you give us. And I think you're biased. <laughs> a little bit, a little bit. Yeah. But, um, but it is our, our Saturday initiatives. We, mm -hmm. as a church, leave our Saturday doings or our Sunday, sometimes like once a year for Caring for Katie, and we do Saturday initiatives to bless the community and help the needs of those around us. Mm -hmm. and, um, and I think it is so amazing that we, as a church, um, get to speak, get to do be the hands, get to be the feet, get to be in action outside of the four walls. Yeah. And we do it through community groups. Yeah. So Most Saturdays we'll see people serving and loving our community and out uh and they're not doing it for themselves they're mm -hmm. doing it for the kingdom they're doing it for jesus mm -hmm. and so my rima uh, thank you for sharing those five things that many people may not know that that we do there's so many more things that we could again talk forever about but uh in in talking about not doing things for our namesake jp what are some stuff that uh we do that we don't really get a lot of credit for yeah, from, from my seat in operations, we, our ministry services all the other ministries of the church. And so we help equip and supply and support. So we get a good bird's eye view of all that's going on across all the ministries and get a good feel of the culture. And it really is easy to see that, that, that 
selfless influence is a common thread through all of what we do. And it's uh, every ministry's focus is about the kingdom and the priorities about the kingdom and not about Kingsland first. And it's not about what we get out of it or what our return on investment is in our uh, ministries and events. The, the, the first start is not, well, will this get us more members or will this get us more money? <laughs> that's, 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 yeah. that's the last of the list of concerns. Yeah. In the process. And so one good example of that is uh, our Empowered Homes ministry, as you know, Bobby, with mm-hmm. um, starting with a website with incredible resources that many people would pay good money for to have access to a marriage and, and parenting and personal growth mm-hmm. articles and videos and things. But uh, we're able to provide completely free yeah. and um, based on just the things that God's doing of Kingsland, an overflow as a service to uh, help carry on that vision of seeing, you know, homes transformed. And so it, it's able to be influence that we have that's, and in Kingsland's not plastered across the website mm-hmm. either to try to just make it accessible and available so other churches can use it and feel free and not feel like they're using another church's branded material. We're able to keep the Kingsland name minimized and and because it's not about Kingsland you know, proper. Yeah. And so that's part of that selfless influence. One example and the way we help other churches along the way too. And uh, cause it's we're not trying to get the credit. We really want Jesus to get the credit, the gospel to be advanced and, and God uses all kinds of ministries, all kinds of priorities and focuses, but we really feel like with selfless influence being a core value of Kingsland, that we're specifically called to be open-handed with what God's yeah. blessed us with. That's which is why we do ministry the way we do. And I, I think I think it's part of the culture that we feel like more can be accomplished for the kingdom when we're not focused on what's in it for us, when we're focused on what's the best thing for the gospel. And sometimes that's our fruit growing on other people's trees is a term we use a lot that yeah. maybe there's someone else better equipped to do this ministry. We can just equip and support them and let them get the credit. And um, and God and God ultimately gets the credit for that when the when the kingdom works that way. And. I know that when we're in, you know, inviting people to Kingsland, that becomes secondary to inviting people to to know Jesus. And yeah. so even when you know, one thing that I see is that 100 percent believe that God's doing some amazing and unique things at Kingsland that's so excited to be a part of. But we also know that we have not cornered the market on all that God is doing in Katy. There yeah. are other churches yeah. Yeah. that are doing some amazing things. And I love that Kingsland recognizes that and celebrates that and you know, one way we see that is in our new guests that sign up and say, hey, I want more information about Kingsland. We, one of the first things we do is give them a, a guide of like how to, you know, things to consider when choosing a church. And we list out other great gospel preaching Katy area churches. You may want to visit these churches to see, you know, because because we're part of a, a bigger community here and, and we've not cornered the market on the gospel. Yeah. So, so. we we send out a, a thing promoting other churches. Like, yes. Yeah, that's yeah. pretty wild. But at the same time, we want people to find where God is calling them to be and serve. And, mm-hmm. and we want it to be Kingsland because we love, you know, we want everybody to be here. But we also know these great churches could be exactly where God wants them to be. And so we want people to process and, and understand that more mm-hmm. than just getting here and staying here. And so right. that's, a, that's a, a powerful thing of the C, big C exactly. church. And so Caesar yes. leading our international people groups, how does the big C church and how does selfless influence look in your ministry? Well, Bobby, it's such a wonderful thing coming every week. And you can see people from all the languages, all the nations coming here to Kingston to have some, to learn some skills to maybe, or maybe it's just language. I mm-hmm. could be, how can we plug them into the market work uh, in, in the workplace so they can serve? And the way God uses that is just amazing. We have people that are working in global companies and they get here, they get language, but most of all, they get Jesus. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Once they come to Christ, they get trained and they go and serve in their companies. We have a couple of fellows that have been serving with us. And right now they're leading in their corporation building. They're leading Bible study with people all over the world. That's one thing that we do. And we love it the way God replicates what we're doing here in, in Kingsham. And also we have, we don't talk about that, but we have a awesome network of partners all over the U.S. and all over the world, really, in which every week we have our conversations, we connect over Zoom, we share what God is doing in Kingsland through people groups, ministries, and then they go and do something similar, uh, customized to their community. And we love doing that. We don't care 
much about, okay, this is coming from kings, and we're saying, hey, this is the way the Lord is blessing kings, and maybe he can use that for his glory in the place where you're at. And I have people from Europe calling. I have friends from Middle East calling, and we have wonderful conversations. We equipped them just this week. I got with a, with a couple of national leaders that they needed some resources. We provided for them. I provide some training how to engage with other people groups in their own countries mm. to just connect and just reach them with the gospel so they can come to know Jesus. Then yeah. We're all about that, Bobby. Yeah, and with our international people groups, like just to see the network that has been created uh, locally, uh, but globally, uh, it's, it's funded and run and leadership led by Kingsland. Uh, but not many people know that mm -hmm. and it's okay and we don't want that because we want to be about jesus and that's that's why i think selfless influence uh is such a it's not something that we want to strive to be at kingsland it is our dna mm -hmm. it's who we are because it's who jesus was mm -hmm. and ultimately we want to be like jesus and so that's why it's a core value mm -hmm. for us that's why we want um, to 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 make sure that we're filtering our lives through this selfless influence. So thank you all so much for sharing on our panel as we, we continue our series, uh, We Are Kingsland. Uh, for, for those of you watching, our hope is to bring clarity, unity, and encouragement to you today. Mm -hmm.